Hi YouTube, this is Patrick, and um, I'm reviewing a bunch of shows, you know, on this channel. Um, so and I'll, they, there's a lot of news at the Comic Con convention over the weekend, the one in San Diego. So I figured, um, why not put it all together in one video, talk about what was said about each of the shows, at least that I, you know, get on here to review, and maybe talk about some of the other movies and stuff that are on there. Um, so yeah, so basically. Um, I guess I'll start with the Breaking Bad panel, which I can't, can't really say much about. I mean, I saw the preview. It didn't really add um, to anything we've seen in the season so far. It was very, very funny. And um, even if you don't want to listen to the panel, I suggest watching the opening of it. Because um, watching um, all the act some of the actors come out in costume was just very, very, very funny. Um, but there's very little in the realm of, like, spoiler. Uh, oh, I am going to be spoiling stuff in this thing um, so if you don't want to watch or hear about, you know, anything that happened at Comic-Con, then, you know, don't watch this. Um, I think the only few things that were new in the preview that I remember, most of it was from earlier seasons, and a lot of it was from episode one of season five, which has already aired. Um, the only new stuff was basically some extra stuff with Mike, and, um, you know, we knowing that Walt and Jesse are going to be, you know, cooking again and stuff like that, but it really wasn't, um... Uh, nothing too crazy. Um, as far as True Blood goes, I mentioned in the True Blood video last, um, last week that I thought, uh, Suki was going to be losing her powers. I took a look at the video they showed at Comic-Con again, and it may be misdirection as far as the way the video was put together. Because the video showed her getting, like, zapped, like we saw in the last episode, by all the other, you know, fairies and whatever. And then it showed her trying to use her powers, but them not working. But if anyone saw the last episode, it was when she was she tried doing that before they like zapped her. Uh, but anyway, the video they showed her getting like hit, and then her not being able to use her powers. So they kind of flipped it, and then they actually showed Bill, you know, glamoring her, which again we saw in the last episode, which didn't work. Um, so they made it seem like she. Um, you know, got hit, lost her powers, and then was, like, completely human. Um, kind of revealing toward the end of the video that Bill was biting her again. And maybe it's another dream or something like that. I hope it's another dream because we, they, that's, that's played out. Um, and everything else they've shown, uh, it all came in, like, lots of, like, bits and pieces. Um, I said that the reason I thought the vampire that killed, you know, Jason and Sookie's parents was Russell because it looks like he's wearing the same hat you know, in the preview later on. Um, again, this could all be misdirection. I could be completely wrong, but it's just what it what it seems to be. Um, interesting thing about the the show, Alan Ball said, even though he's leaving the show, he's still going to be around. He kind of indicated that there's going to be no... He said the show could go on for another two, maybe three seasons. Um, I'm hoping for two, personally. Because um, I think eight seasons is... Uh, what are we on, five? No, I think so. <laughs> Good math. I think um, seven seasons would really be plenty. Um, but uh, that's uh, pretty much all the the news from True Blood. Uh, moving on to Walking Dead, they showed a trailer. It looked really, really good. Um, the comic book storyline, the it's very uh, they're using the the prison storyline from the comic book. They're going to be changing things, but from what I understand, it's probably the most talked about storyline from the comic book, at least that I've heard anyway. Um, the preview they showed, everything looked really, really good, and it looked, um, very fast-paced, which is one of the problems from last season, that it wasn't fast-paced. Um, you know, the new characters, I know the governor, um, on the show apparently looks nothing like he did in the comic book, but, um, I mean, he looks menacing. He looks like he's gonna appear to be friendly at first, and then he's gonna, like, turn on them. Um, and the new, uh, the new girl, the, the, the black girl, I'm not even gonna try to pronounce her name, I know it begins with an M, she has a samurai sword, she looks badass, um, it looks like she's gonna be with Andrea for a while, separated from the group, um, but it looks, it looks, you know, it looks really dark, and you know, I'm not afraid to kill anyone off on that show, um, uh, once again, T-Dog doesn't get a line, um, and in fact, someone, it looks like, dies early on in the season. Um, and if it's him, man, that just sucks. That dude hasn't had a line in, like, a, se a whole, like, season, and it will probably be a season in a few episodes if he bites it early on, um, in season three. But, um, 
sense. But it looked really, it looked really promising for anyone that was discouraged by season two. I think it, you know, it looked like a at least, you know, um, it looked better. Uh, but you know, we'll wait and see. That comes back in October, I believe. It comes back in October or like early October, I think. Um, then moving on to Dexter. Dexter. Looking back on season six, I really didn't like season six. I was actually way too positive in my uh, video reviews uh, last year. Um, it definitely was the worst season of the show and probably could have been skipped over entirely. Um, just with the exception of a very, very few minor things that were setting up season seven. Um, the show is definitely ending after season eight, which is good. Um, it's a little concerning that the writers don't quite know what the end is yet. Actually, that's very concerning and very annoying. Um, but this season does have, uh, some new characters. The, um, the girl that was on, uh, Chuck. Again, I don't know her name because of the Y. Um, and then, um, oh, from, uh, from Rome, uh, Pullo. From, uh, Ray Stevenson from, uh, from Rome. I don't know if he's playing the main villain this season or he's just going to be a part of everything. Um, but they showed the first two minutes of the season. It was basically, basically Deborah confronting, confronting Dexter. And, um... I'll just say that it was more exciting than most of season six, yet it looks like it could be annoying because Dexter seems to be able to kind of sidetrack her, uh, where he says he just snapped and she does or doesn't believe him. She looks like she's having difficulty because, you know, Travis is tied up on there. Um, and it just ends with her calling the police and he kind of, you know, kind of lunges at her a little bit. Um, they, the writers said they're going to have Dexter reveal everything to her. I guess it's going to be not all right away. Um, but at least things will be different. And, uh, one concern is that, uh, the Lewis character from last season, you didn't really see much of him in the promo they released, but it looks like he's definitely going to be there. Um, so, you know, I'm just hoping that show can get back on track. Uh, I'm not going to give up on it. They got two seasons to go. There's really no point in giving up on it yet. Um, so, uh, yeah, so, that's my thought on that. Uh, then as far as Game of Thrones goes, um, it's a bunch of new directors this season. They lost Alan Taylor, but they brought back, um, uh, David Nutter, who did episode six and seven last season. They brought back, um, the guy who did episode three last season, so strong, uh, strong directors from last season are back. Uh, they also back, brought back a director who did episodes six and seven of season one, which is the Golden Crown episode. And uh, you win or you die. So, you know, some quality directors brought in. Plus, um, a, um, a female director who has done like eight episodes of Breaking Bad and good episodes. Uh, like the, the Four Days Out episode and One Minute. Um, so basically, yeah, we got those four directors. Plus the showrunners uh, are going to be directing an episode next season. So it should be pretty interesting. Um, as far as the new cast members go, I'm not going to go through all of them. Uh, I will say I pronounced Jojen Reed completely wrong for a long time. I was putting like an L in there for some reason. I don't know why. Um, but everyone looks spot on like you would expect. Um, notable, I guess, would be Mackenzie Crook, who's playing the skin changer. I guess they're going to merge the skin changer characters just into like one for him. Uh, so that's a nice little role for him. Um, Diana Rigg, who's famous from the TV show The Avengers, um, and she was in on her Majesty's Secret Service Bond film, is playing Queen of Thorns. So, um, I'm not that familiar with her, but everyone seems to be praising the casting, so I'll just go along with it. Um, also, finally, for me, again, because I'm a huge fan of Rome, it's great that um, Brutus from Rome is playing Edmure Tully. Um, it's not the kind of you know, look I have in my head, but it doesn't matter. He was awesome on Rome and he'll be awesome on the show. And, um, yeah, so I really can't wait to see, um, everything they're going to do. They didn't say anything about casting, uh, Mance Raider yet or Dario or some other people. Uh, I think they're waiting to cast Mance Raider because they're probably not going to get to his stuff till later on. Uh, they are filming now. They were filming some Jamie and Brienne stuff the other day in, in Ireland. And, um, I don't know what else. George is, was kind of immature as uh, the at the head of the panel, just really basically asking everyone how it was like to film sex scenes. Um, not, not that part wasn't really immature, but like the the he just kept on like like you know plugging away at everybody. It was kind of kind of annoying actually. 
Um, but uh, also, one note, Alfie Allen, who plays Theon Greyjoy, is going to be on the show. Um, he'll probably do stuff like they did with Jamie, where he's going to not be you know, in it very much, maybe three, four episodes, uh, which is smart to not let him just you know, go out of like new viewers' minds anyway. Um, yeah, that's the only thing I got on as far as the TV stuff that I do. Uh, oh, the show does come back on March 31st, which is good news because it comes back one day earlier than it did last year. Of course, it's bad news because, you know, it's, it's July. Um, so, uh, a long way to go. But yeah, that's as far as the TV shows go. Um, as far as other news that, uh, at Comic-Con, um, you know, I don't have, like, that much really to kind of, to say. There's obviously stuff I was looking forward to. Um, you know, some of the films that they showed, uh, Oz, the, um, the Oz, Wizard of Oz prequel. Uh, you know, that looks like it could be fun. Uh, Django and Chain looks like it could be, a lot, you know, should be pretty good. Um, I haven't seen any of the footage. They didn't show any of that footage or anything like that, but, um, should be good. Um, the Warner Brothers panel had the Superman footage, which I'm going to see this weekend when I see, uh, Batman. So I'll probably throw in, um, my opinion on that when I get around to it, uh, with the Batman review this weekend. Um, and they showed the Hobbit stuff, which wasn't in 48 frames per second, which I had problems with the last time. They did it in 24 frames a second just to focus on the story. And, um, it was funny. I wasn't really thinking much about the, uh, the Hobbit stuff, especially with kind of Game of Thrones taking over. Uh, you would think The Hobbit might appear weak next to it or something like that, but um, just hearing about what the footage entailed is pretty much, you know, confirmed I'm excited for it. Uh, but I don't think, yeah, I kind of think that's all I got for this. Didn't want to go too in-depth. Probably did too much already. Uh, let me know if you have any questions on any of the, uh, any of the stuff I just talked about. Um, I'll put things underneath to let you know when I'm going to start talking about whatever it is I was talking about. Um, and, uh, yeah, that's it. All right, see you guys this weekend. Um, Rob and I are going to do the, the review for Dark Knight Rises probably Saturday because we're going to go see it at about 2 in the morning Friday night. So, uh, yeah. All right, guys. Later.